Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, today we will learn about um, biodiversity. Okay, what is biodiversity? Biodiversity is a diversity of organism. Okay, whether or microorganisms, animals or plants. Okay, all that we call biodiversity. Okay, diversity of animals and plant in Malaysia. Okay, in Malaysia we have a uh, variety of uh, plant species. Okay, daripada orang panggil apa? Uh, hibiscus. Okay, we have many types of species. Okay, hibiscus species. Okay, and also we have orchid, we have orangutan, we have uh, crocodile and many others. Okay. <coughs> okay. How biodiversity exists? Okay. Biodiversity exists because of diversity of habitat and climate. Okay. Example. We have desert okay, habitat. Okay. And then we have polar regions habitat. And we have soil. And also we have sea. Okay. Different types of habitat have different organism why because um organism from desert cannot survive in polar region okay while polar region uh, animals cannot survive in desert why because they have their own characteristics that enable them to adapt and live in independently in their respective habitats okay okay for example uh, kalau uh, apa Camel, you put in the uh, polar region. Automatically, a uh, camel will die. Okay, uh, so because of uh, the different, we, because uh, we have variety or diversity of habitat, that's why we have um, biodiversity. Okay, <coughs> importance of biodiversity. Okay, why? Biodiversity importance. Okay, number one is source of food. Okay, we we get our food from animals. We get our food from plants. So when we have a right uh, diversity of plants and animals, so we can eat um variety. We have a variety of food. Okay, okay, balance in nature. Cycle of nutrients, pollination, and interaction between organisms create balance in nature. I give you one example. Okay, in our uh, food chain, we start from plants that is uh, as a producer, and then when um, primary primary consumer eat plants, okay, uh, they will receive energy, you know, and also receive nutrient, and then uh, secondary consumer eat f uh, first consumer and continue until at uh, the end of the uh, food chain, okay. So it will continue, okay. So when um animal die okay or plant die there will uh, be a decomposition process okay so when a decomposition process occur it will return nutrient into the soil and then soil will be absorbed back by the plants to make their uh, protein okay okay recreational places Areas that are rich in biodiversity can be developed as recreational places. Okay, ah, tempat ni jadi tempat tumpuan pelancong lah. Contohnya kawasan tu jadi tumpuan ah, apa burung-burung datang berhijrah. So, ramai pelancong dia tahu bulan berapa. Ah, so, dia pakai pi lah. Okay, and then medical. Herbs are widely used in the manufacture of medicines and cosmetics. Okay, so when we have uh, biodiversity in plants, uh, so we have a variety of choice to make, uh, to use in medicine. Okay, uh, for example, we have Kacip Fatima. We, in Malaysia, we have uh, um, Tonka Ali. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, we can use uh, in the manufacture of medicine and also cosmetics. Okay, raw materials for industries. 
timber, bamboo and rattan are examples of forest products which are used to make musical instruments, furniture and to build buildings. And last one for our education. Okay, biodiversity importance for our education. Human increase knowledge and create new technology through scientific research on microorganism, animals and plants. Okay, okay, effective biodiversity management. What happen if we do not have effective bio management? Okay, so it will be animal uh, will uh, lose their habitat and uh, will cause extinction. So to avoid all this, okay, we must have effective biodiversity management. Okay, what method can we use to maintain and conserve biodiversity? Okay, biodiversity can be maintained and conserved by uh, number one is banning the killing or trade of endemic and endangered animals and plants through Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Okay, uh, kita haramkanlah uh, pembunuhan hay haiwan yang terancam. Okay, protecting the habitat through creating national parks, okay, marine parks, forests, reserves, and wildlife sanctuaries. Okay, and last one, undertaking reproductive programs such as seedling nurseries to help with reforestation and turtle hatcheries. Okay, what is endemic? Endemic species. Okay, it's a species that live in cluster within a restricted habitat, habitat in a specific location. That means they only uh, live at that uh, location only. Example, okay, we have Rafflesia. We cannot find Rafflesia at Baling. Okay, uh, we can only find uh, at rest, uh, a specific location only. Uh, okay, picture plants, leatherback turtle, Malayan tiger, and the Borneo pig. Me elephant, okay. All these are example of endemic species. Endemic species, cats, not endemic species. You can find everywhere cats, okay. Uh, not as a specific location, okay. Now, what is ex situ and in situ conservation? Okay, the methods of biodiversity conservation can be classified as in situ conservation and ex situ conservation. What is in situ conservation? Okay, it is uh, preserve the species within their natural habitat, such as in nat national parks. That means uh, they preserve in uh, their natural uh, habitat lah. Uh, Maksud tempat asal dia tu kita tak bawa pergi keluar. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, example, apa mana forest reserve, forest reserve and marine parks. While ex situ conservation means preserve the species outside of their natural habitat. Uh, we bring uh, the animal to other places uh, such as zoos and botanical parks. Uh, that is different between in situ and ex situ. In, yeah, how you remember, uh, easily remember just uh, in, maksudnya dalam kan. So, in situ, that means at that place. Uh, while ex situ, we bring it outside uh, okay from the natural okay classification classification of organism there are two main groups of organism are uh, animals and plants okay there uh, the main groups okay animal can be classified into vertebrates and invertebrates okay uh, so we start with invertebrates this is uh, the classification of invertebrates. Into invertebrates can be classified into without legs and with legs. While uh, without legs can be classified into two group. Okay, without segmented body, with segmented body. Segmented ni maksudnya dia ada orang pas um, bersegmen lah uh, macam cacing tanah. Uh, dia ada macam jalok-jalok tu kan. Itu kita panggil segmented body. Okay. With legs, three pairs of legs, more than three pairs of legs. Okay. Uh, invertebrates without legs, uh, without segmented body. Uh, this one example of without segmented body sponge. Uh, kalau kamu tengoklah cerita apa uh, SpongeBob. Uh, sebenarnya SpongeBob itu adalah marine life. Okay. Uh, this is a sponge lah. Uh, it is referred uh, to this sponge. Okay. Sponge. Uh, 
sea anemone, corals, planaria, okay, or we call flatworms, uh, it's planaria, and snail. Okay, this is without segmented body. Okay, and then with segmented body, uh, example, a uh, tapeworm, nampak tak? Uh, ni, nampak tak? Uh, ni, benda, uh, dia ada apa? Uh, yang jaluk-jaluk-jaluk ni kan? Uh, ini kita panggil segmented body, uh, nampak tak ni? Uh, segmented. Okay, uh, earthworm, leech, okay? Uh, invertebrates with legs. Okay, number one, three pairs of legs. We have ants, butterfly, and also cockroach, and other. Uh, we have other animals as um, uh, other examples lah. Okay, more than three pairs of legs. Spider, see one, one pairs, two pairs, three pairs, four, four pairs. Okay, more than three pairs of legs, and then we have we have horseshoe crab, prawn, centipede, and scorpion. Okay, and last one is vertebrates. Vertebrates, what is the meaning of vertebrates? Are animals with a backbone. Okay, vertebrates can be classified into five groups. Okay, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Okay, what are the common characteristics of fish? We have poikilotermy, covered with uh, covered in hard and slimy scales. Okay, siapa pernah siang ikan boleh nampak slimy scales. Okay, have fins and a tail. See, fins and tail. Okay, Ins breathe through gills. Okay, lay eggs. And last one, undergo external fertilization. Okay. Okay, uh, external and internal fertilization you will learn already in form 1. Okay, um, I hope you still remember. Okay, what is a poikilotermy? Okay, poikilotherm is an organism that, that has a body temperature that changes according to its surrounding temperature. That means if the temperature rise, their temperature, their body temperature also rise. Uh, okay, uh, if the body, uh, if the surrounding temperature low, the body temperature also low. Uh, it's it's follow uh, surrounding temperature. Okay, homotherm or homotomy uh, is an animal with a body temperature that is constant and free from influence of its surrounding temperature. That means uh, it's constant. And uh, if the temperature rise, it will maintain the, its temperature. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Example human. When we go to uh, snow place, uh, our uh, body temperature uh, will not drop. Uh, follow the uh, according to the surrounding temperature it will maintain okay it's become constant okay uh, that means homoitum and poikilotum okay okay amphibians okay example of fish grouper uh, clownfish eel uh, seahorse uh, it's also fish okay uh, fish group. Okay, amphibians. What is amphibians? What are the common characteristics of amphibians? Number one is poikilotermy. Live on land and in water. You remember when the question asks why we call it as amphibians. Okay, because they live on land and in water. Covered with moist skin. Okay. Young amphibians breathe through gills. Okay, young uh, Tadpole, okay, young, young amphibians, okay, breathe through gills. Adult amphibians breathe using their lungs and moist skin. When adults, they become uh, toad or frog, okay. So, when uh, adult, they breathe through lungs and also moist skin, okay. If you touch uh, frog or toad, uh, you can feel it's, it's a moist skin, okay. Produce jelly-like eggs without a uh, shell. This is a uh, frog spawn. Okay, uh, di punya telur. Okay, and undergo external fertilization. That means uh, fertilization fertilization occur outside uh, female body. Uh, okay, reptiles. Reptiles are uh, animals. Uh, the co common characteristic for reptiles: poikilotermy. Okay, produce eggs. Uh, 
with a shell okay breathe through lungs have scales and hard skin you can see a snake they have hard skin and also crocodile okay undergo internal fertilization that means uh, fertilization occur in a female body okay uh, example iguana turtle snake crocodile okay and birds birds are animal with uh, birds have um, common characteristic for birds are homeotomic okay that means constant temperature body temperature covered with feathers to maintain body temperature breathe through lungs have wings that help some birds to fly okay not all birds can fly okay example penguin also classified in uh, bird groups okay i have a pair of scaly feet okay nampak tak scaly feet okay undergo internal fertilization and last one produce eggs with hard shell Okay, example, king, fisher, duck, uh, owl, chicken. Uh, chicken has uh, feathers but cannot fly. Okay, uh, okay oh, sorry, have wings. All birds covered with feathers. Okay, all birds have wings but not all can fly. Okay, example, chicken. Chicken cannot fly. And also, uh, ostrich bird. Okay, uh, also cannot fly. Okay. Penguin also cannot fly. Uh, penguin in a uh, bird's group. Uh, okay. And last one is mammals. Okay. Mammals are animals with the following common characteristic are uh, homoidermic. That means uh, constant body temperature. Cover, cover with uh, fur on or hair. See? Uh, small hair. Or we call it fur. Okay. Breathe through lungs. Okay. Undergo internal fertilization, that means occur in a female body, give birth and nurse nurse their young. Okay, um, whale, okay, walaupun, uh, even though whale um, should be in fish group, but it's not classified into fish group, okay, uh, because um, whale give birth. Okay, uh, whales are classified into mammals. Uh, okay, uh, bat, giraffe, elephants, lions. Okay, uh, all these are mammals classified as mammals based on common characteristics. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.